Hello and welcome to Trains in Vietic and a Sunday video. Today I've been out shopping. I've been down to the Grand Central Railway where about Beckman had the yearly uh, discount sale event. I'm not quite sure what they call it but I went down to the Corner Woodhouse uh, station on the Grand Central Railway I'd have bought some for a bit, so let's do the title and then we can pop into the desk. As I said before for our uh, titles, today I had a trip to Corner Woodhouse Station on the Grand Central Railway because it's a Batman discount day or Batman members club day or something like that. This is where about all the returned items go and uh, get, after it had been repaired, go and get sent, go and get sold at a very good price. So you can see in front of me, there's two things. And as well as this camera, I also got the camera up there so that we can actually see what's going on. So for the first thing, it's Royal Garden Railway. This is a Batman little big hauler. And you can see why it's so cheap for boxes in an absolute state. But I also know that these things are designed to be shipped around the world. So this is our latest train for the Garden Railway. You might have thought that I have forgotten about the Garden Railway. But nope, that's strongly on our list. So this is G Gauge. Nice that it got working doors. Not necessarily highly detailed, but we don't care about that with the Garden Railway. We've got the standard couplings. Plastic wheels. And a good bit of detailing. So this will give us something to play with uh, on the Garden Railway. So that's quite nice. So we'll see that eventually when it gets a bit further with the Garden Railway. And that's a hint of projects about to come. So let me just make a lot of noise. And put this back in its box. So currently on the Garden Railway we've got Thomas and Percy, Annie and Clarabelle and one of those repeated, uh, the Trapperson trucks, a mum's train with two, co two uh, wagons, dad's train and I think that that's about it. It's all DCC and all that kind of stuff. So now for the next thing. This is something I have actually been after for a while. It's a Batman 3430 Oros Gale train pack. And it's a capital commuter. Not sure if I have said or not, or if you have worked it out from my stock. I'm running, the new layout is going to be London-ish. And I'm having a lot of uh, electric and electric diesel passenger units and updates about for the new railway is coming soon so let's start off with looking at the top we've got nice uh, imaging then on the side we've got Capital Connect and for the barcode scrubbed out if you ever buy something 
from a shop for second hand and just bought for barcode scrubbed out there's a very good chance it have came from the Batman discount table and on the back we got the train and the ticket haul net aside kept golden connect and a little bit of damage to the box this is potentially the reason it being sent back and then finally that then on the back we have all the information about this uh, a picture of it at a station that looked like potentially Waterloo but I could be completely wrong uh, then you've got uh, uh, all kinds of information about it and some drawing so this is the actual size for me then there's a bit about the collector club so let's go into the top down camera actually I must probably got both cameras running so what do we get in there we've got how to DCC it and instructions on how to get inside location place of Eclipse and uh, replacement parts as you can now order all replacement parts on uh, the Batman uh, website so I'll put that to one side then you got the uh, Capital Certificate of Authentication, Capital Commuter, and I got 853. Then we have a little packet of cards. Don't know what the idea was with these, but you get several cards. And then you got the network rail card. Then underneath here, you got some nice packaging. And then the thing I wasn't expecting is two a half platforms. So if you don't know what I'm already thinking, you don't know me well. So I'll put those to one side. Next we have an accessory bit, which is for draw bar only. And for front coupling. One thing you need to remember whenever you buy from the Batman uh, doll is it's sold as seen. So next we've got the uh, network selfie building which goes on the platform. Then finally we have a locomotion all the details underneath that's a connector bar and then we have for passenger so passenger car for connected bits which I'm not worried about and for motor car then you have two bits of track no two, two bits of platform and then you have your platform building on there so that's a really lovely kit I'm looking forward to testing this and having it on for new layout. I think this building definitely got the potential of being used on for 
new layout and something I've been after for a very long time. So let me just move the camera slightly and zoom us in. So that's actually quite nice. So I'm going to leave you here. Uh, if you want details about Batman Collector Club and all that, go onto the Batman website. There'll be a link in the description. Um, they had all kinds of bargains, but uh, I had a budget this time, so I could only get what I got this time. But uh, I've been a member of a Batman Collector Club for a long while. You get some previews at the big shows. You normally get a free bottle of water at big shows. And then you get uh, several magazines a year. And you get the um, clearance sale. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much. Richard.